everybody. I'm Lacey with the SII store here at Stitch It International, and today I'm going to be showing you how to hoop a cap. Now, for beginners, this can be a little tricky. So, today I'm going to be doing this on two different types of cap frames, and I'm going to be giving you some tips for a better and smoother embroidery. When you purchase your embroidery machine, you're going to be given a standard framing gauge and a double banded cap frame. Now, they're all going to look pretty similar to this. So we're gonna take our cap frame, we're gonna slide it on our gauge until it clicks. We're gonna push down our red notches to lock it. And I'm just gonna be doing the front of a cap, so I'm gonna be using four by seven inch cut tearaway backing. Gonna push this underneath this metal part. Now, an important part of the hat, um, we're gonna be removing the structured piece and you're gonna to wanna to roll your bill outward. Now, the reason you wanna do that is because most caps have an arched bill and you want your cap to look like a flat bill. The reason being is when you make this flat, it pushes your material lower and it lays flatter up against your needle plate. If you have an arch in your bill, this is gonna cause bubbling when it's embroidering. And when that happens, you're gonna bust needles. Um, you're gonna sew out of registration because the cap's moving. So you want this as flat as can be. Now we're going to pull our sweat band outward. You don't wanna sew that to the cap. And we're going to push this on our gauge. And you want the center of your cap to line up against this red mark here. I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm going to hold the hat in place. I'm gonna take my left hand and pull this double band upward. And I want this piece to go behind the bill and I want the piece with the claws on it to go in the front. Now, when I pull upward on this, I want my claws to actually lock into the corner of this hat. If you do that, this band will fall where it needs to be all the way across the bill into that seam. Make sure everything's nice and straight and lock it. And then we're ready to put it on our machine. So now I'm gonna show you guys the Gen 2 cap frame. This is a Hoop Tech product. I've done this in a video before, but I did it on a visor. So um, it's really, really good with caps. You can get really low with the embroidery on the bill of the cap, and you can get higher to the arch of the cap as well. They're also a lot simpler to use than the double frame. A lot of people fight with those, whereas with the Gen 2, you only have this large piece right here, so it's kind of not giving you a lot of problems. So I'm gonna go through this with you really quick. Um, this will go on your standard framing gauge. We're just going to slide it on like the other one. Click. We're going to put these down, lock it in place. Now the clasp is on the left side of this hoop, not the right. So we're just going to unhook that. I'm going to use a 4 by 11 inch cut backing with this because with the Gen 2, it has two metal clasps here that's going to hold my backing in place, so I need it to be a little bit longer. Take our cap, pull out the structure piece, and again, roll the bill. That's really important. We want to pull that sweatband outward. Pull the cap down, push it back. And we want to center this. This has a notch here, so we can line that up with our front seam. We are going to take this, push it over the front of the bill, and lock it into place. And it's ready to be put on the machine. I hope these tips were helpful, and if you are interested in the Gen 2, or if you have any questions at all, please visit our online store or give us a call.